Hey family, how y'all doing today? I need a little bit of help. Um, those of you that have been following me for a long time, I'm trying to find um, the video where Prophet came on and he was sharing that he has seen a very prominent um, man that engages in Christian gossip. Um, he had gave a prophecy in, in at the time, Prophet did not know who this man was or whatever, and we later found out who it was. But I'm trying to find that footage. Um, if any of you can remember which one it was, that would be like super duper great if you can help me. But the content of the prophecy was he said he saw this man and he was sitting in the office. And um, he, wherever he was, it, it was a, it was like he was it was a desk and he said and there was like papers and things like that or whatever but he said flames just started coming up surrounding him and then he kind of like zoomed out and he said this man this man is in hell I, I see this man in hell and I remember I was like wow 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 and I remember um uh, one of my uh sisters she's a, a very prominent gospel uh vocalist um beautiful 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 voice and um uh, he, it was around that time when there was something going on with, with her. Um, so it had to be uh, at least four years ago, maybe that he saw this. But anyway, I had a, a dream the other day and, um, it was the same person. I saw this person in this dream and uh, I was watching him and he was, um, he was sniffing cocaine. Um, and it, it was just very weird. Um, not only was he sniffing cocaine, but I heard this man is going to go down like Wendy Williams. That what he's done is going to come back at him. And it was humiliation. It was disgrace. It was shame. And the things that he's been saying, these demons are with him. You understand? And they're coming for him. And so I would like us to just pray for all of the, the leaders that have made mistakes, that have been, you know, saying in Jesus' name, but doing things like gossip and Lashon Hara and destroying people. I'm praying that the Lord brings them to a point of, of seeing themselves and understanding that what they're speaking and doing to others, this is coming at them very quickly. I also saw um, the woman with the scarf. Um, please, please, please. We want to, I know a lot of people like coming at her right now, but this is so bad. What I saw concerning this person, um, something's not right. Um, the shame, disgrace and humiliation that this person lied and projected out on someone else. These demons are coming to snatch because they've been exposed the demons have been exposed it's not the people the demons have been exposed even with the gossiping man even with this this hooded woman that's you know that's um, issuing death sentences everybody these are demons demons got to them we have to pray for them i know people do not understand but the bible says those that are spiritual restore we need to pray for them because the demons that they've been working with whether knowingly or unknowingly they've been exposed and so now they have to go back to satan because they've been exposed but they are going to come and drag who summoned them with them you know the heart behind why they were summoned in the first place that's where the soul tie is and they're trying to drag those people to hell so babies please um let's just pray let's just pray anybody could slip up and fall even though they was pointing out other people's they didn't understand what they were doing. They were doing to themselves. And this is not something that we should be happy for. They are still children of the Most High God. And we need to pray for them. And um, and if if they repent, uh, some, some they have no choice but to repent. But, um,